each other. Some of the other things I've seen, uh, Russians patrolling our skies. Russians patrol our skies and their own UFO fleets, folks. And I've always said, you know, a lot of these UFOs, not all of them, are alien. We have our own flight uh, fleet. The NSA has their own fleet piloted by uh, NSA pilots. Or should I say the DIA has their own fleet piloted by NSA pilots. And the Russians have their own fleet. And the Russians are patrolling our skies. I've seen that in the codes. So that's interesting. Uh, another thing is the upcoming uh, computer changeover. Uh, they're going to be going to this Internet, too, uh, so that they can shut up all the big mouths that have been uh, described as conspiracy theorists and everything else. They're going get to get, uh, get rid of free speech. That's coming down the road. Uh, look for that after the beasts are here. So that's a little bit down the road. Uh, but keep in mind, folks, we could be in martial law this summer, especially with Washington under attack in July. Uh, because I've warned about seeing Bush um, in the codes uh, with putting America into captivity with the word checklist, meaning uh, uh, going through uh, getting people off the list, checklist. Uh, a lot of questions, uh, people asking me about global warming. Uh, and folks, y'all told me last year that uh, the inner earth is heating up. The so is this room. I get really hot and stuffy in here. Uh, and so uh, the sun's reactions are because of the earth heating up, the inner earth heating up. Also, we have uh, chemtrails heating up the atmosphere, harp heating up the ionosphere. Uh, the only thing man-made about global warming is our government's insane attempt to control the weather. Uh, it's these weather weapons and these chemtrails uh, that are heating up the atmosphere. And it's not nothing to do with man-made. It's nothing we're doing. It's what they're doing. <laughs> yes, George, comment from a listener. George Bush must be on a lot of cocaine because he just asked Congress for $3.5 trillion to have the U.S. out of debt by 2012. Yeah, he is snorting a lot of cocaine. But back to the global warming. Uh, these Our military and governments are eventually going to blow up our atmosphere, folks. And you're going to see it on fire. Just a lovely thought I thought I'd throw out there. <laughs> Eventually, they're just going to blow it up. We're going to have a blown up atmosphere. Uh, I would look for that uh, in the second half of the tribulation. Uh, part of the, the trumpet and the bull judgments and, and the other judgments. What were those? Seven thunder judgments or whatever. Uh, look for that then. Uh, so we've got a little ways on that one. Uh, but it is coming. Uh, because space is going to be heating up so much, which is why uh, Satan, and you're going to see Revelation 12 uh, fulfilled, Satan being cast to earth, because they're being chased out of space. It's getting so hot up there uh, that they're not going to be able to, to stand being up there. Another thing about it is, uh, I've been seeing in the codes, is Orgone delimiting uh, their plans to conquer and control areas because... Uh, uh, Oregon is a border. And I've always talked about when you do your, your neighborhoods and your towns and your cities, whatever, to, to circle it and circle it, do a, do a grid, go north, south, east, west, do a grid all the way around it. Uh, if you're doing a county, you can you can take a three-ounce puck and, and throw one like one every one or two miles, however the Lord tells you to do it. I've done counties where I've done them every mile or every two miles. I just put a, bo- a border around the whole county, your whole county, your whole area. Um and they can't, it won't be penetrated. They won't penetrate that area. It becomes a, a, a border to the aliens where, oh, that place is bordered by Oregon. I'm going near there. Uh, so that's what you need to be doing, uh, is, is putting these, these boxed in areas with Oregon around your towns and cities. Uh, cause we're pretty much done, uh, with what we needed to do to get it, uh, to what the Lord needed, uh, in the air. Because you'll see the wind blowing. The wind, we're gonna have winds blowing for the next umpteen months. Uh, because the Lord can blow this wind, uh, this organ around the world through the wind right now. And so as far as uh, accomplishing just the, the, the basics of what he needed us to do, we've done it. We've done it. Uh, but now what we're doing is uh, just personal territories. People want to do their towns, their homes, their cities, whatever. Uh, so that's what we're working on now with whatever time we have left. Uh, 
I think we probably have about six more months of time to do Oregon, and that's about it. And so, I mean, I'm not going to put, you know, this is the Lord, the Lord hasn't said it. It's just something I feel. That we probably have about six months more time of doing Oregon. And so, uh, get it out there while you can. I have directions on my website, OregonBlasters.com. Because time's coming to a close. So keep your eyes on, on March. Something's coming up with March at Passover time. Uh, Passover coming up in the codes. Half expect Maitreya to show his ugly head in March this year. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and when he does, folks, uh, one of the biggest reasons that our, our nation is under such uh, wrath and judgment from the Lord is because our beast leader will align with the beast. <laughs> and so uh, the whole alignment thing, uh, to where I told you that, that whoever is president of this country is going to hand over basically rulership of this country to the beast. And that pretty much seals our fate. Uh, and, and, and we have no control over that. We have no control over Bush right now. I mean, we've got an alcoholic, cocaine, schizophrenic in office, and no one can get him out. Uh, <laughs> and we haven't even got him out yet. So how do you know he's going anywhere? Uh, he's going to be a promoter of this murder juice, this Kool-Aid. And so uh, watch, watch him start. Uh, promoting this stuff, this myrrh juice, uh, and uh, some of the terms I've seen associated with myrrh is rum and alcohol and, and intoxicating. And, and I have heard from people that have drank this stuff that it's uh, it's an, it's an intoxicating thing. It kind of makes you. Oh no, they were referring to blood. I think <laughs> blood being intoxicating. Well, you know what? It's just the same terms are coming up with with myrrh. Uh, and then it's, it's, it makes people feel good. It's like a feel good juice. Uh, cause it's alcohol in it. And interesting, the Bible codes has it with rum. I don't know if rum's in it. Uh, cause I read the definition of what's in it a couple weeks ago during this show. Uh, it's made from some shrub, some tree. And so Bush is gonna be a big supporter of this. And his alignment with this whole Age of Aquarius thing coming in, um, because Bush is the seventh head, he's the, and, and you read in uh, Revelation, uh, the last days later is of the, of the seventh, but of the eighth, and it talks about the little horn. I'm just starting to see all this stuff in the codes, little horn, seventh, eighth, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, all right. Uh, because this eighth coming in is this whole age of Aquarius thing, uh, from what I can tell is that just just taking what I see and putting it in terms we understand is that this whole seventh head thing has been the new world order and this whole eighth kingdom king coming in is 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 foundation is the new world order but he's bringing in this whole age of Aquarius thing uh, and they're going to mix it it's going to be a weird mix of drink the juice and we're going to build a temple and go to Talmud law you know it's kind of a weird mix between the age of Aquarius and the alien agenda, and then this whole Talmud law thing. It's kind of like both of those are going to go uh, back, back and forth about it. So that's interesting. Uh, let me see. Let me check questions here. Uh, if you have a question, you can send us this show at SherryTalkRadio, Yahoo.com. Just put a quick 